Using rubber bands for wallets are just fine, I guess, and I, and I hear a lot about that, but you've got to give today's wallet, the Machine Area TI-5, a look before you make that decision. And here we have the Machine Era TI-5. It's a slim wallet, obviously. Comes in this plastic bag. And, hmm, comes with an extra strap. And if you do go through both of these, they, you can get additional ones from their website. This is black. I got this, you know, well, a while ago, frankly. And uh, all you can get it now is in, is in the raw aluminum, more silver looking in color. Looks pretty flimsy. Are you sure it won't bend too much? Or maybe rubber bands are better? Feature wise, we have a bottle opener right here. Why not? And it also has a thumb push, so this acts as a bottle opener and a thumb push for the cards on this side. And of course, then we have this card slot and cash slot right here. Capacity up to seven cards. They uh, really come up to essentially the lip of the wallet all around here. And that, that's what keeps it in place. And of course, they go underneath this strap. Then on top of the cards is where you'd place your cash. Very simple. It does kind of beg the question for people who want to ask it, well, isn't a rubber band just as good enough? Measures 3.4 by 2.2 by 0.3, and it weighs 21 grams. That is very, very light. Bending in this wallet, it's amazing. Just hang on. Company recommends up to seven cards. I put seven in here, six credit cards and an ID, and two slips of cash. And there's a, a few ways that we can get this out here, but let's talk about the wallet first. So this is designed and made in the United States. This is a grade five aerospace 6AL 4V titanium. I don't know what that means, but it seems pretty good to me. It has an extremely high strength to weight ratio, which means it's very thin and light without sacrificing durability. And a good example of that is I'll pull these out a little bit and you can see it's got quite a bit of give to it, but I'll show you something here that really demonstrates that. The regular silver titanium or the regular raw titanium doesn't have a coating. This one does have a DLC coating on it and you can't see, but right down here, it's a, that gives us a little indicator that we have a DLC and that helps with wear and tear. Cost in the wallet is $65. I mean, this is a full titanium, so I'll have to get a feel for that. Now, from a usability perspective, the one thing I want to point out is that there are no sharp edges on this. I mean, it is very, very thin. And let me show you a couple methods to get the cards out. So you can, of course, use the thumb push like this, which, you know, is okay. It means that your most used card would be on the bottom, or you just simply use it like this, where you hold finger thumb, pull out like this, and then you have greater access to your cards. And uh, getting them back in is a little difficult if you pull them completely out, especially if you pull out everything. You know, if you're gonna get just a one card, that's fine. But as you try and insert your cards, uh, this card in the back will catch right here. And so you need to kind of push up on that to get this through, get it through the elastic that we have here. And then you can fan these out a bit in here to get the cards you want. But it is a, takes a little bit of effort. Now coming back to sharp edges, this it does not have any sharp edges. I said this has been tumbled really well. And that's one thing I see a lot with metal and very thin metal wallets is that uh, they have sharp edges and it's really uncomfortable to use thumb pushes that they have because you're afraid you're gonna cut yourself. Now you might think that seven cards isn't a lot, but if you're doing proper wallet audits, meaning you're going through and removing things that you don't use as often as you think, then this really is about right. This is super light and the thinness makes you wonder if you can bend it like I mentioned and well, take a look at this. And well, you can, quite a bit actually, and the alloy memory is amazing. Now, if you like a minimalistic but quality card wallet, you'd have to consider the Machine Area TI-5. I know I'll have those who will comment that the rubber band does the same thing for the pennies. Yes, yes. And you're right, rubber bands really are, but I don't wanna look like a dork. Now onto the final score. For quality of five, price of two, little expensive comparatively, features of three, it does what it should, Usability of four, easy to get cards out, no sharp edges, which is quite nice, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 38 out of 50. If you like this video, then look at this one next. We appreciate you spending time with us. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.